I had a morning basketball practice the second day of school my junior year. I remember getting up and packing up my bag and then driving over to San Marcos. After that, I don't have any recollection of what happens. That was a pretty hard morning. I mean, I can remember it very clearly. I heard some moaning outside of my office. It didn't sound normal. And I went over to the windows to see what was going on or what, what was happening. And uh, there's a young boy on the ground and uh, he doesn't look good. He's, he's wheezing, he's breathing faintly. And right then, um, a doctor who was on the track uh, ran up and helped me uh, perform CPR. It turned out I had a cardiac arrest and was rushed to Santa Barbara Hospital and then was flown by helicopter to UCLA Hospital where I got treated. The, the phone call was shocking. Of course, that, that something was wrong with him it was shocking. Showing up at the hospital and the first person who greets you is a grief counselor. And you, you know, I remember both Kim and I were like, why are you here? Is our son alive? That's shortly followed by a line of questions like, have you had anyone in your family die young? At that moment, I think I thought he was dead because I wondered, why are all these people surrounding us? I don't know if that moment of not knowing whether or not he was alive, if I will ever get over that. Pretty shortly thereafter, we were taken to see him and he, you know, had a breathing tube and was intubated and wasn't moving, but he was there, he was there. He was alive. He came out of, of surgery and they said that they felt like this was probably the best possible outcome. Yeah, I woke up in UCLA hospital, had no idea where I was or what happened. As soon as I started to get clear, I was kind of like, like one of those wow moments where you're just like, wow, this actually happens. The whole like thought of just like dying as early as I did, it was a very like eye-opening thing for me. If Chucky wasn't there and, and um, Dr. Chelaney, I mean, doing CPR, he wouldn't have survived. And I mean, it, it, it saved his life. The first time I saw him on campus, he just walked up to me and gave me a hug. That happened probably about four or five times in the course of the year last year. Um, there's not a lot he needs to say. Um, it's not a lot I have to say, uh, but uh, our lives connected in a strange, strange way. If Chucky wasn't there, or if the people were running at the track that day, they were running on Wednesday instead of Tuesday, I wouldn't be here today and I wouldn't be living. I've never used CPR once. I've been through at least 15 to 18 CPR trainings. All those hours I spent in CPR training, if it only saves one life during my lifetime, like, time well spent.